Hello everyone, I'm Mayolo the Artist and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing another character design video. This time we're going to be drawing a vampire. A female vampire, if you will. And I know it's been a while since my last video, I think about three or four months almost. And I do have a reason for the long gap in between videos. It's a number of things has been happening. I had a couple client piece. Mm, sorry, I had a couple of client pieces. Um, I caught COVID. Yeah, so there's that. That set me off for like a whole week. And whew, what else has happened? Oh, and of course the big one: lack of inspiration. Um. I mean, like I said in the previous videos, I have been working on an animation, and so, quick thing about that animation, I actually had to redo the entire thing, um, literally from beginning to where I was at, was what I was working on then to what I'm at right now, like from start to finish, and the reason I had to do that I'm not gonna get really into it but the reason that I had to do that is because I, I I wasn't feeling how I was doing the thing I mean okay so the format and how I was actually animating made it longer and how I was animating the entire clip it was a certain thing I wanted to do that it was going to be too much of a struggle to do it and the only thing the only way to actually fix it and do it right is to redo the entire thing and that's what i did so i'm um, past the point that i was at then and i'm at the point that i want it to be but it is going to take a little bit longer for me to get back i mean to get it out there but that's what i've been doing lately and so when i said a lack of inspiration what i mean is that since i've been doing that animation i haven't had a lack of inspiration for the animation i'm still very excited to get this animation out there to my channel the lack of inspiration came from actually knowing or figuring out what i wanted to put for my channel i just didn't want to make i i didn't um I didn't have any great ideas and nothing grabbed my attention enough to create something to put on YouTube. Um, I don't, I do want content. I mean, it is good to have content on YouTube to beat the algorithm, but I rather put out something that I actually care about putting out and I didn't really have that for the last three months because the animation set me back so my focus technically wasn't on oh just make content for YouTube just make content for YouTube because I want to provide quality not just content not saying other artists don't provide great quality and content it's just for me I just didn't want to put out things just to put out and then the quality just wasn't good it wasn't yeah it just wasn't good so that's another reason why i haven't posted on my instagram on tiktok or on youtube for the past three or four months until something sparked and this sparked and the idea for this illustration sparked because i was searching on the internet on pinterest for i don't know any photos that might pique my interest or anything like that and I came across a post on IG on Rachel Bradley's page and she released some new um, reference packs so I went to her page and I saw a bunch of her different on her gumroll page I saw a bunch of different reference photo pack bitch and they were really good I wanted to buy them all but I didn't want to spend that much money so I came across her vampire 
uh, reference photo pack and I loved her I and mean, she always takes beautiful reference photos and that pack spoke out to me a lot so I bought that and I used one of the images on the reference packs and that's why I got the pose from and the idea for this vampire thing but I put a little bit of my own twist and my own design because I just thought about it there's not many black vampires well female black vampires at least I don't watch I mean I haven't seen a lot of black vampires in the mainstream media I mean Aaliyah played a black vampire when what was the movie Queen Queen of the Dam hold on let me look this up because I want to get this right. Because I mean, it is a leader. Okay, the movie is definitely Queen of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, she was a vampire. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she was the queen. So, yeah, that was the only thing that kind of reminded me of a black female vampire so I mean I didn't use Aaliyah's look as inspiration I just it wasn't that many so I just said oh let me draw black vamp African American black vampire female vampire see what happens and I came up with the design as I was studying the pose that I wanted to use from the pack and that's brought the inspiration for this video I mean because for every illustration that I have done for the past three or four months I have recorded it and but I haven't liked any of them so a lot of them didn't even get finished so there are few recordings of unfinished artwork on my hard drive that probably will never see the light and day and you know unless whenever they do a documentary on how great of an artist I am so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, so, I am going to speed this video up even more. And we will... I, there's no we. I will check back with you all soon. Another actress came into my mind, Vanessa Morgan. Do you all remember her? She played in the Disney Channel show My Babysitter's a Vampire. She was they she also played in the TV movie of that show as well. I've been a fan of hers ever since that movie. Well, actually, I've been a fan of hers ever since I seen her in the latest Buzz. Then I saw her in My Babysitter's a Vampire, the movie and the show. Then the Disney Channel movie Geek Charmer. Then she appeared in the Shannara Chronicles, I think in the second season. And she also plays in Riverdale now. That was just a quick note. I can't believe I forgot about her though. Okay, so we're entering the coloring stage of this illustration and it's coming along really well. Um, I tried a few passes with her skin complexion. I didn't know how dark I wanted to make her. I know I didn't want it to be like a caramel mocha skin. I wanted to go into the more darker shade, not too dark, but just like in the middle between the caramel and the dark shade, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I don't really have much to say on that other than that. So we're going to speed this up again and I will check. Oh, wait, actually, I do have something to say. Has anybody seen Lightyear? If you have, 
leave a comment in the comment section. So I'm not going to give away Lightyear for those who haven't seen it. I'm not a spoiler guy, but there was a scene in Lightyear where Buzz and his crew were sitting down and they ate. They wanted food. So they got a sandwich. I forgot what character got the sand, the package astronaut sandwiches for them. And they got the sandwiches. And when Buzz opened his package, he saw that the sandwich was completely different from what he's used to. He saw that there was only one slice of bread on the sandwich. And the slice of bread was in the middle with everything, with all the ingredients for the sandwich sitting on the top and the bottom of this bread. So, of course, he saw that as weird and he went to the crew and he talked to the crew, I mean, and he said, this is weird. And they was like, what, you never had a sandwich before? And he was like, yeah, but it's made all wrong. There's supposed to be bread on top, ingredients in the middle, then bread on the bottom. Then they was like, oh, no, 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 no. That's disgusting. That's too much bread. It's, it's, it's so dry when you eat the sandwich like that. And they said moisture is where it's at. And I saw that in the theaters and I was like, hmm. And you know where I'm going with this. For those who know me, you all know that when it comes to food, interesting foods on cartoon, movies, or, t or TV shows, I tend to try to really like to see how it is. Like, I tried the knocko before. I mean, yeah, i have done the knocko before. That was good. I always, when I was a kid, I always wanted to try a Scooby snack. I mean, of course, they don't make Scooby snacks. I mean, I wanted to try because Shaggy ate them. And I'm like, well, Shaggy likes them. So I'm thinking, you know, it was people food and Cause Shaggy ate it. I mean, now I know Shaggy was a pothead, so he's just eating anything. So, I mean, so yeah, I, what else did I try that came from a cartoon show? I know there's more. I just can't think of it. It was something from Rocket Power. I think they created something on Rocket Power, but I can't remember what it was. I think it was the Ice Cream Sunday episode when they was sliding on there, making the mess, and they had all that ice cream, and they had added all that stuff. It was something like that on Rocket Power. Um, I know there's more, but I just can't think of it on the top of my head. Yeah, I can't think of it. But anyway, I tried that Lightyear sandwich, and not gonna lie it was pretty good i had mayonnaise on both sides of the bread i put turkey on both sides first then i put cheese on both sides then i put a leaf of lettuce on both sides and i ate the sandwich as that and i thought about putting tomatoes on there but i was like fresh tomatoes it's gonna be a little bit too much of a mess especially because the bread is not there to soak up that moisture from the tomatoes so I didn't use tomatoes in the sandwich, so I just ate it like that, and the sandwich was actually good. Yeah, it was good. So, I mean, if you, anybody's out there that's brave enough to try it, just try it. It's, I mean, it's not nasty. It wasn't nasty at all. I would definitely do it again. Let's, okay, we're getting sidetracked. Let's just get to the video, because I'm probably grossing some people out, but for those that's not grossed out, try it. It was good. I mean, there's people out there that eat snails, so I mean, that can't be terrible. So, yeah.
Okay, so we're not too far away from completing this illustration. I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I post the next video. As always, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.